Hey guys, it's Hunt for Games, and you really need to help me out here. I'm going on vacation next week. Now, if that makes it sound like I'm not excited, that's not true. I'm super pumped. Like, I can't wait. I haven't slept in since we got the puppy, so it's been like three months almost. But and it, seriously, I've started to get really into Divinity Original Sin, which I've wanted to play for a while. It's a great puppy game, too, because I have to get up quick. I can just, like, walk away and nothing happens. Now, I can see most of you straight through YouTube going, like, how, how are those two things related at all? How is Divinity related to vacation? Like, who cares? Well, with vacation coming up, it means I'm probably gonna stop playing it, like, forever. This shit happens all the time. This is the formula. It's happened to me countless times and will happen again. I start to get pretty into a game. I'm getting into a groove, a rhythm. The combat's engaging. The stories grab me. Boom! Leap for vacay. Whoop! Bring on the fun. But that means no PS4, no PC, most likely no whatever the hell I was just playing. Two things then happen. A, I usually try to get all hyped on a Vita or 3DS game to enjoy over Vacay, which by the way, a little like side note, if anybody has any suggestions on a, a good 3DS or Vita game that I can play over Vacation, uh, I've kind of beaten all the ones that I currently own. I could totally use something new for the flights and uh, just general downtime. I mean, hell, that's why I bought those consoles in the first place. <laughs> it's nice to remember that they weren't just a bad investment. There, there's a reason I own them. So with any luck, I get kind of absorbed in that. B, I'm forced to finally just put down video games for a while. It's vacay time, time for friends and family and beaches or ski slopes or whatever the hell I'm doing. And regardless, I don't have the games anyway, remember? I like literally have to put them down. By the time I get back home, th that game is long forgotten and the drive that made me want to play in the first place usually gone with it. I, I, I don't fully know why this is, but I swear it happens every time. It doesn't matter how good the game is. The Witcher 3? I stopped playing for 9 months because of a 4 day family reunion. Final Fantasy 15? I still haven't quite polished that one off and I was just gone for like 3 days without a wedding. But sometimes it's worse. I literally just never go back. The game lies forever unbeaten because of some mild trip to the beach. So I wanted to see if this happened to anyone else, because I feel like the opposite should be true. I should be getting eager to be getting back and playing. The closer to the end of the trip I get, the more hype should build, but but nah, it just kind of fades out of my mind. So what, what can I do? I, I really would like to play through this game, but I fear the vacation and its strong negative effects. It, it might just be too powerful. Has anyone who suffered these effects overcome them? Or am I just like screwed? Is this game just gonna drift off into nothingness? I feel like as I'm playing it, I'm playing it for the last time. I know this sounds just stupid. Everyone's just like, if, if this bothers you so much, just keep playing the game. But I swear, the second I step off that plane and get back, I'm gonna be like, I just don't want to. It's kind of similar to what happens when I used to be when I was younger. I'd ask for like four games for Christmas. And if I got all four, I'd play all four the first two days and I'd get really sucked into one and never touch the other ones. I'd never go back. It's something weird. It's like once you start and then stop, it's like your mind will forever associate that game with fun that I decided I didn't want anymore. That's my official doctor psychology evaluation of myself. <laughs> So, in addition to these obviously super important problems I'm facing, this is a little note that I will be on vacation next week, so I won't be uploading anything. Really sorry. But with the puppy, I just couldn't really get ahead of videos I can barely keep up in the first place. For everyone that's been asking for a pup date, it, it's coming soon, I promise. This guy is pounding through imaginary levels like it's nobody's business, and he deserves some screen time. But let me know in the comments what games are screwed for you by this phenomenon, and if you ever snap back from it. Let me know what kind of videos you guys are hoping I'm going to get back into because I'll have a lot of time to think about it over vacation and then kind of just jump back into things when I get back. For everyone missing Final Fantasy XI, don't worry. I think I've got another one coming later this week and obviously more to come in the future. But if there's been something else that you feel like I haven't touched on as much lately and I should get back to or something I've never tried at all, let me know. I mean, now's the time. I'll have time to go over all my comments while we're away, although internet access will be limited. Also, the more I do videos like this where I kind of just like freeform thoughts, weird things that have come to mind over the course of the week, I don't really have a good name for videos like this. So if anybody wants to throw out a suggestion for what I should call these videos, feel free. <laughs> I'll totally give you credit if I choose your name. But the delirium of the busy work week is clearly setting in because I'm just kind of rambling at this point. So anyways, uh, have a great week. Check back again later in the week for uh, the Saturday video. But by the time you see it, I'll probably already be on the plane. So wish me luck and have a great next week, everybody. See you. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you should totally think about subscribing. I've got videos coming out twice a week, and if you like this one, there's at least a chance you'll like some of the others that are very similar to this, so live dangerously. Let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comments and other videos you'd like to see. And finally, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Hunting for Games to keep up with all the latest stuff. See ya!